Good morning. My name is David Greenfield. I'm the council member from the 44th Council District in Brooklyn. I'm privileged to serve as the chair of the Land Use Committee. Folks, if we can get a little quiet in the room, if you can just uh, whisper in your conversations, we'd appreciate that. I would like to recognize our colleagues who have joined us, including Councilmember Gentili, Councilmember Koo, Councilmember Lander, Councilmember Williams, Councilmember Cohen, Councilmember Kalos, Councilmember Reynoso, Councilmember Torres, Councilmember Traeger, Councilmember Grudenshik, Councilmember Salamanca for arriving early, and Councilmember Mendez. I would like to thank Chair Salamanca, Chair Richards, and Chair Koo for their outstanding work on our land use subcommittees. I'd also like to acknowledge the newest member of the subcommittee on zoning and franchises. Welcome to Councilmember Barry Grudenchik. Let's all give him a big land use welcome. Hello. Thank you for joining us. We are, what's that? There, yes, fair enough. You both, both you and the mayor. Uh, Anticipated a parade. I'm sorry it didn't work out for you. We are confident that you will enjoy being part of the Land Use Committee here in the City Council. And the best advice that we have for you is just follow the chair's vote and everything, and you cannot go wrong. Today we're going to be voting on resolutions to approve LU 730, 731, and the 15 Evans Street rezoning. This application would allow for development of 128 units supportive and affordable housing development in Council Member 11's district in Brooklyn. The Institute for Community Living will enlarge its existing building horizontally and vertically and will provide conventional studios, two bedrooms and three bedrooms, instead of SRO units to future occupants. This will be a project that is designed and built for formerly homeless individuals. We'll also be voting to approve LU 732, the 40 Wooster Street application special permit in Council Member Chin's district. This special permit will allow retail use on the ground floor and cellar and residential use on the second through sixth floor of an existing building in the Soho Cast Iron Historic District. The approval will also result in the restoration of the exterior masonry cast iron and metals and restoration or replacement of exterior windows and doors of the six-story building constructed in 18. 96. We'll also be voting to approve LU 744 and 745, the East Shore Special Coastal Risk District in Council Member Matteo's District in Staten Island. This application would modify the zoning regulations applicable to portions of Oakwood Beach, Grand Beach, and Ocean Breeze in Staten Island. These zoning changes are intended to address high flood vulnerability in the area. The special zoning designation would limit future development to low-density buildings and create a new discretionary action to ensure sufficient review of new development's potential effects on wetlands, neighborhood character, and public safety, while allowing owners of existing homes to improve the safety of their buildings. In addition, the proposal would align commercial zoning with existing development patterns and uses. So very important zoning as we are dealing with the impact of climate change, and especially as we see two new hurricanes that have recently, and one is currently coming to the United States that five years later we are dealing with this and so I congratulate the council member on that as well. We're voting to approve with modifications LU743, the Alta Siwa Cafe in Council Member Rodriguez District. This application for an unenclosed Siwa Cafe at 4325 Broadway will be modified to include conditions recommended by the community board. Specifically, the Siwa Cafe will be limited in size to no more than 10 tables and 20 chairs, and its hours of operation will be limited to noon until 10 p.m., Sunday through Thursday, and noon until mon midnight on Fridays and Saturdays. We'll be voting to approve with modifications the 126th Street Bus Depot development. This project has four recorded applications, LU 733, 734, 735, and 736. EDC seeks approval of a zoning map change, a zoning text amendment, a city map change, and a future disposition of city-owned properties to facilitate the redevelopment of the 126th Street MTA bus depot into a mixed-use project that includes the Harlem African Burial Ground Memorial. This project is expected to result in the development of over 700 apartments, approximately 300,000 square feet of commercial space, and a new public open space and indoor memorial. Folks, once again, if I could ask if you can just please keep your conversations to a whisper, that would be helpful. In order to finance the memorial, some market rate units are needed, but the administration is committed to ensuring that no more than 20% of the project will be market rate and that 80% of the housing will be affordable with at least 20% of the project at 30% AMI. Chimani, is that acceptable to you? We'll find out soon. Given the difficult history of the site, I want to commend and congratulate Speaker Melissa Margarito, the East Harlem Burial Ground Task Force, and EDC for coming together to create this shared vision and very important memorial to the Harlem African Burial Ground. We'll be voting a modification to require at least 18,000 square feet of the outdoor memorial space and to restrict the MH program to the lower AMI options, options one and three, the deep affordability options. Are there any questions or remarks on these applications? <clears throat> Hearing none, we will now move on to a vote in accordance with the recommendations of the subcommittees and with the support of the local council members to approve LU 730, 731, 732, 744, 745, and to approve with modifications LU 733 to 736 and LU 743. Will a clerk 
please call the roll. Committee Clerk Matthew DeStefano, Committee on Land Use, roll call vote to approve LU numbers 730 through 732, 744 and 745, and to approve with modifications LU 733 through 736 and 743. Chair Greenfield. I vote aye. Gentilly. Mendez. Aye. Ku. I will aye. Lander. Sorry. Aye. <laughs> Williams. Abstaining on LU number 732, aye on all the rest. Cohen. Levin. I don't know. Kalos. Yes. Reynoso. Torres. Traeger. Aye. Gorodnik. Aye. Grodenchik. Salamanca. Aye and all. That was aye. No, it was 14. By a vote of 14 in affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions, the following items have been approved. LU numbers 730, 731, 744, and 745. LU 732 has been approved by a vote of 13 in affirmative, zero in the negative, and one abstention and LU 733 through 736 and 743 have been approved with modifications by a vote of 14 in affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions. Thank you, as is our practice. We're gonna keep the vote open for 15 minutes till 12.05 p.m. I have to go across the street and vote a transportation committee vote, so I will ask that the last member who is here shall close out the vote on our behalf. Thank you. Council Member Cohen. I vote aye on all. Continuation of roll call vote. Committee on Land Use, Council Member Rodriguez. Aye. 